Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Uh, now we are going to solve these two problems. So the first problem says that two couples act on the frame if d is equal to 4 feet. This d is equal to 4 feet. Determine the resultant couple moment. Compute the result by resolving each force into x and y components and finding the moment of each couple and uh, summing the moments of all the force components about point A. And in the second problem, everything remains the same until this point B. In point B, it is said that summing the moments of all the force components about point B. So everything will remain the same. The first part remains the same for both the problems. So that will be valid for both the problems. So part A. In part A, it is said that compute the result by resolving each force into x and y components so first of all we have to resolve this uh, these forces into its x and y components so let's say that the moment <clears throat> the couple moment produced by these 50 pounds is let's say m1 and let's say the moment produced by both of these is m2 so we need to resolve it and the total uh, resultant couple moment will be the summation of all the moments so we can say that the summation of moments and that will be equal to m1 plus m2 so the m1 is due to this 50 pounds and m2 is due to this uh, 280 pound forces so if we resolve these two forces so we will have one component of 50 pounds in this direction this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this particular component this one will be 50 cos of 30 and we will have the sine component like this this one will be 50 sine of 30 similarly we will have 50 cos of 30 and we will have that 50 sine of 30 so both of these are 50 sine of 30 but they are acting in the opposite direction similarly here the angle is given in the shape of this triangle this small triangle so again if we consider this particular angle let's say then this one will be the sine component and this one will be the cost component so we can write that this is 80 sine of theta and from this small triangle we are considering this theta so this theta so let me draw that triangle here we have that triangle this is 3 4 5 we are considering this as a theta so from this triangle we can say that sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so here this component is 80 sine of theta so sine of theta is 4 divided by 5 so i will write that 80 into 4 divided by 5 similarly this component this one will be the cos component and this one will be 80 cos of theta and cos of theta from this triangle is base divided by hypotenuse so this is 80 into 3 divided by 5 similarly again if we consider that same angle here so this will be the uh, sine component this one will be the cos component so this is the sine component this will be again 80 into 4 divided by 5 while considering this angle and this one will be the cos component this one will be 80 into 3 divided by 5 so now we can say that m1 will be the moment produced by and the components of these 50 pounds so we can say that this 50 cos of theta they are acting in the opposite direction and the perpendicular distance between both of these components is 3 feet so this will be 50 cos of 30 into 3 and similarly uh, the, the perpendicular distance between both of these sine components is 0 so we can say that this will be plus uh, 50 sine of 30 into 0 and as we can see that uh, this component and this component they are producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus this will become minus right since they are producing the clockwise moment and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so this becomes zero so let me remove it so m1 is only this this is m1 50 cos of 30 into 3 similarly m2 uh, m2 in in case of m2 uh, this component this component 
they are producing the moment in the counterclockwise direction and the perpendicular distance between both of these components is this d which is 4 so they are producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus that will be 80 into 4 4 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance between both of these is d which is given as 4 feet so we will multiply this with 4 and again uh, both of these components the perpendicular distance between both of these components is zero so they are not going to produce any moment so that is equal to zero so uh, we can find the resultant couple right so let's say that this is the resultant couple and this is equal to 50 cos of 30 into 3 so this is minus 129.90 and this will be plus 80 into 4 into 4 divided by 5 this gives us 256 and this will give us minus 129.90 plus 256 this is equal to plus 126.1 and the units will be in pound feet so plus 126.1 so this means that the resultant couple is in the counterclockwise direction since the plus is associated with the counterclockwise moment so this is the counterclockwise moment and the magnitude is 126.1 and now as we can see that this is the x-axis this is the y-axis the z-axis is out of the screen so if you want to represent this couple moment as a Cartesian vector, so we can say that this MC is a Cartesian vector. This will be equal to plus 126.1. And if we curl our right hand fingers in the counterclockwise direction, so the thumb will point out, out, out of the screen. So out of the screen is the Z axis. So we can say that that is the positive K. So this is the couple, the resultant couple moment due to in both of these forces so this is the solution for part a so mc is equal to plus 126.1 k similarly in the second part of both the problems we are required to find the, summing the moments of all the force components about point a so we have to find the moment of each component about point a and then about point b so i will write that 480 problem part b so we have to find the moment about point a so that must give us the same answer since these uh, both of these couples are producing the same moment since the couple moment is always a free vector it will have the same effect at any point on this frame so the summation of moment about point b so i will write the moment about point b this will be equal to the moment produced by this component this cost component is producing the moment about point b in the counterclockwise direction the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so we will write 50 cos of 30 and the the perpendicular distance of this cost component from that point b is this distance which is 2 we will multiply it with 2 this is producing the counterclockwise moment similarly this sign component is passing through this point b its perpendicular distance of from point b is zero it's not going to produce the moment about point b this component is not producing the moment about point b this cos component is producing the moment about point b in the clockwise direction so we will write minus 50 cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point b is this distance which is 3 plus 2 that is 5 so multiply it with 5 similarly uh, this component is producing the moment about point b in this direction that is in the clockwise direction so we will write minus and this is 80 into 4 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point b is this distance which is one feet we will multiply it with one similarly this component and this component they are passing through that point b they are not going to produce the moment about point b since the perpendicular distance of both of these components from point b is zero or we can say that the moment arm is zero and similarly this component is producing the counterclockwise moment about point b so this will become plus 
this will be 80 into 4 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point b is this d plus 1 so d is 4 4 plus 1 5 so you will multiply this with 5 so this is equal to so now we have uh, this 50 into 2 so this is 100 cos of 30 then we have minus uh, 15 to 5 so this is minus 250 uh, cos of 30 then minus 80 into 4 divided by 5 into 1 and then we have plus 80 into 4 divided by 5 into 5 so this gives us that same answer 126 and we get that same plus 126 point point 0.1 let's see 126.1 key uh, let me write it as 126 and the units are on feet the plus sign tells us that this is the counterclockwise moment and this is the moment about point b which is the resultant couple moment and if you want to represent this as a cartesian a vector this is equal to plus 126.1 k the units are in pound feet similarly for 481 part b this is 481 part b the second problem the part b of the second problem we have to find the the summing the moments of all the components about point b so so the, the okay this was this was the moment about point b so this is the solution of 480 81b let me write that this is 481b and this is for this is 480b so now we will find the uh, moment about point a again assuming the counterclockwise moment is to be positive so now again uh, this uh, 50 cos of 30 is producing the moment about point a in this direction this is the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus so plus 50 cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point a is this distance which is 2 we will multiply it with 2 similarly this sign component is producing the clockwise moment about point a and uh, we can write that this is plus uh, this is producing the clockwise so you will write minus minus 50 sine of 30 into the perpendicular distance from point a so the perpendicular distance of this component from point a is this distance so this is 3 plus 4 plus 1 so this is uh, 7 8 so multiply by 8 similarly this sine combo is producing the counterclockwise moment we will write plus again this is 50 sine of 30 and the, multiply by the perpendicular distance which is this distance again this is 8 we will multiply it with 8 and this cause of 50 cause of 30 is producing uh, the clockwise moment so that is minus 50 cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this component from point A is this distance which is 5. I will multiply it with 5. So if we look into this, this is minus 50 sine of 30 into 8 and this is plus 50. This, uh, this will cancel out. So this, is, this will become 0. So this means that the moment produced by, about, by this component about point A and the moment produced by this component about point A, they are equal, so they are going to cancel out each other, so they will become zero. So this and this, they, they cancel out each other. Similarly, um, this component is going to produce the moment about point A in this direction, like this, and this is the counterclockwise moment. We will write plus 80 into 4 divided by 5, and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is this distance, which is 4 plus 3. This is 7. So I will multiply this with 7. And similarly, this component and this component, they are passing through this point A. They are not going to produce the moment about point A since the perpendicular distance of both of these components from point A is 0. 
and this component is producing the moment about point a in the clockwise direction so you'll write minus 80 into 4 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance of this component from point a is this 3 feet this distance we'll multiply this with 3 so we are left with uh, this this and these two right so 50 cos of 30 into 2 so this is 100 cos of 30 minus uh, 50 into 5 so that is 250 cos of 30 and then we have plus 80 into 4 divided by 5 multiply by 7 then minus 80 into 4 divided by 5 multiply by 3 so again this gives us that same couple moment equal to ma equals to 126.1 pound feet and if we represent this as a cartesian vector so that will be equal to plus 126.1 in the positive k the units are pound feet so this is the solution of both of these problems i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics